Hey guys, Matt here. So I was thinking this year when we harvest honey, instead of doing it the ordinary way where you, you take the frame out, you brush all the bees off, you put it into a separate box, cover it up, grab another frame, brush, box, cover. Instead of doing it that way, I want to try one of those bee escapes. And not just any bee escape, a vortex bee escape. So today I'm going to make one. So I got the design for this Vortex Bee Escape from Dave Cushman's website. And if you're a beekeeper and you've never been on Dave Cushman's website, I highly recommend you go there. He did such a, a great job of compiling a huge amount of beekeeping information. Um, it's not up to date anymore, because uh, he did pass uh, 2011 there. Um, but there is so much information on there that if you were to look into his subject, of beekeeping it would it would be on there I highly recommend you go there um, but so what I'll show first is for some of you that don't know what an escape board is is what one looks like or the one that normally people make or you can buy from the um, bee supply store and it's the double Quebec bee escape you know, it looks like that two triangles um, you know and the bees come out this is upside down uh, so your honey supers would be on the other side of this and they the bees come out because it's the only exit they can, and then they come out there, and then they get confused, and they can't get back in. Um, and they work good. I just wanted to build something a little bit different. So I'm going to build one of these Vortex ones, and um, just because it, he says that once the bees start coming out, they just, they just keep going out because it directs them, it funnels them in a certain direction. And it's hard for them to reverse that flow or, or get stuck and stop. You can see in this, uh, this diagram here, this one. Um, you know, once they get going, they just kind of push each other out until they get out and then they can't get back in because uh, of the flow of traffic. But uh, I'm not going to build this triangle one. I want to build this Roger Patterson modified version where it's this, uh, this square. It looks kind of complicated, but it's not. It's like just these three pieces uh, repeated four times. And he's got a good diagram down here. Uh, it's in metric, but uh, what I'm going to do, though, is for the frame, which is what this picture is showing, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to I have a, a one by four, and I'm just going to three quarters inch down from the top. I'm going to cut in a seven sixteenth dado. And then the piece of plywood that's going to be the base uh, is going to be 3 eighths, And I'm going to insert it in there. Um, and then whatever space is left over there, it's, it's about 2 inches or so on the bottom. So he says that you should have about you know 50 mils or 2 inches so that the bees have somewhere to uh, accumulate underneath there, like that picture there. But basically all it is is, is these three pieces. You have to make them four times. And this piece and this piece is just going to be one by four cut into a three-eighths strip. And then this one will be the, the three-eighths plywood, which I'll do with a, a hand miter jig box thing. But anyways, let's uh, get to it. So we got all the pieces cut out. I also cut out some little 3 8 plywood shims. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put little dabs of glue. I got some, I think they're half inch, yeah, half inch staples. So what I did was I marked where the center of the hole was and where the center of the 230 millimeter square was going to be and then I just marked this first piece here measuring 
off the side so it's all square and then we'll just work our way around from there. Okay, we are done, and it's not centered, but I'm sure the bees won't mind. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this works out well. <laughs>